Hello, fellow composers and musicians. This is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Berlin Strings Expansion A for the Woodwinds, additional instruments. And the instruments you get are the E flat clarinet, the bass clarinet, and the contrabassoon. So, what I'm going to do is start out with the E flat clarinet. This is what the multi-interface looks like. So you have your these articulations, which we'll get into later in the video. But let's initially go ahead and start and see how the E-flat clarinet carries a melody. So what I'm going to do, based on the chord structure we see above here in the chord track, is just ad lib a melody using the E-flat clarinet, and I have a piano accompaniment that's using the same chord sequence. So let's see how that's, that uh, sounds. wasn't the greatest melody in the world, but it gives you an idea what the melody sounds like when played with the E-flat clarinet. So let's go ahead and do the same chord sequence, and we'll go to the bass clarinet. So here we go. go ahead and do the same thing with the uh, contrabassoon. This time I won't record it. Okay, here we go. So made one mistake and one out of range error on that one. But point is, it gives you an idea what the uh, instrument sounds like as a solo instrument. 
Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the overall structure of the library, we see that we have the multi-articulations multi folder, the single articulations folder. We have time machine patches, so you can tighten up staccatos and short patches. And if we take, and we also have our single articulation. So if we take a look at the singles, they include all the patches in the multis and more. So what we're going to do is look at those. So for the E-flat e clarinet, we have the legato sustain staccato portato, and we have half tone, half tone, whole tone trills. So let's go ahead and take a look at those individual patches. Here's the uh, legato. And here we have the sustains. Actually, uh, here's the sustains. And then we have the staccatos. And as far as the positions, I'm using the mix, which it defaults to when you load it. Here's the uh, potato short. And here we have the uh, trills. And the way this works, if you press two consecutive keys, you get your half tone. And if you press two keys, a whole tone apart, you get your major trill. So here's your half tone, whole tone. So very interesting, and they give you a little display as well. And then the uh, bass clarinet, which we looked at. Actually, let's look at it in the folder. You see we have 10 articulations. So the first one we'll look at is the legato. Followed by the sustain. Then we have the staccato patch. And then we have the short. Here's the potato along. And here we have the Sforzando. And the last patch, double tongue. Actually, sorry, this is, we're still in Sforzando. Let's go one more. There's your double tongue. And your triple. As well as uh, your whole tone, half tone drills. Whole tone, half tone. And then after that, we have the contrabass. And as you see, we have eight patches there. Legato sustain, staccato, portato, short, long, sforzando, double tongue, triple tongue. So here's your legato. Let's get the display up. And here is your sustains. staccato your potato short potato long potato long your 
Baker Sports Hondo. And your double tongue. Triple tongue. So that pretty well gives you a run through of the library. So this is Bill McFadden. If you like this video, please click like. If you wish to be notified of upcoming videos, then please subscribe. So Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music.